when I look back in the stars and see the story, I, uh, the story and all people blushing me and criticize me and me nine pity them. And when me look, when me pity them, I make me proud. Me said, oh man, me have to call the media and share my story back. My name is Stacy Ann Murray, now it's Stacy Ann Brown. We are in Monimus Compound, lying in town Vir Clarendon. My story started seven years ago when I lost my house in a fire in Portland Cottage, leaving me and my nine children homeless. At that time, I was traumatized. I don't even know what happened. I was on my way to Maypen to get some clothes for my baby, which is, she was just three months old, preparing for three months clinic, and I was actually going down by the food parts to add her on the parts program. So I have those documents with me. That's what Ole say. After my house burned down and the star media do an interview, it wasn't me talk because as I said, I was traumatized, I was down. So one of my friends do the talking for me, but she never really know my age, so she put the age 30. At that time, I was 33 plus, soon 34. And when my story come out in the star, Stacy and Murray, homeless mother, 30 year old mother of nine children. It's like I am the worst person that exists in the world. Jamaica people there blush me. 30 year old, so much pitney. And when we said them, it is in the star right now. If you go back to seven years ago, because I want to go back and view it when I think about share this story. And when me say them blush me, them disgrace me, a lot of people you know, speak good about me, say children are blessings, and all of some say, if you are help lady, you know, help the lady, nobody perfect, and such, and nobody, if my house never burned down, nobody will know about me, the world will know about me, and my nine children, you only know about me because I lost my house in a fire, and I needed help. And I'm telling you, and I'm mostly woman do it, you know. One and two men do it, you know. But I'm mostly woman do it. Me say them blush me, them disgrace me. Each time I see tears run from my eyes, I say, really, my fellow Jamaican woman, woman at that, you know, could really talk such about another woman in their misfortune, in time like this when I need, I need love. I need attention. I just need somebody who can call and, you know, counsel me, talk to me, share me up, give me hope, help build me up back. You know, knowing that I lost my old nine children, the oldest was 18 at that time. It wasn't an easy experience. Apart from what the, the, the comments in the star, the people in the community in Portland Cottage, them go to the extent of saying that, I'm the one who burned down my own house. And trust me, I got you. I got you. I got you. When I thought everything is over, my story just began. After going through the fire and um, food for the poor helped me with the house, and I get the land from the lady and put the house. Things say everything all right now. We get the money from a church in Canada. And um, I get a borrow from a gentleman in New Jersey. So I said, all right, we can go on. Do look at something now. The money that I get, I use it to open a little stall where I sell little juice and such. But did they leave me and the children them two years after? I don't know what's wrong. But the lady that gave me the house blowed up on me. Asked me to leave her property. Me have to pull down the house and give it to one of my children, father. And went away in St. Anne, Whitehall, Black Sinead, to live beside my relatives. Oh my God, when I thought I'm going to have a change of life. That is one of the worst life I ever lived. Some of my relatives, them just blowed up on me for no reason. Started to call me name, me a oor, me this. Some things where them do me. Them cost me and my pitney for no reason. I'm living at the little house, I pay the rent. Them take it back from me. And when I thought things getting better, it's getting worse for me. After them take back the little house, because um, the owner of the house is an old lady, and the old lady grandchildren asked me to take care of the old lady. 
I was taking care of the ladies to tell them send the lady to somebody. So them said the lady gonna come back to the house with that person if it takes why I have to leave. A gentleman would I say family friends. Um he gave me an unfinished building to live. He said if I can fix it up, I can live there. My sister overseas, which is my pastor, Pastor Denisha Brown Robinson, she sacrificed and sent money come for me to buy material. Me jowed all my little savings in my account. My account even shut down because nothing left in there. To fix up that house. After me fix up the house, me get the call in from God. And I answer God's call. After answering God's call, and the Holy Spirit ministered to me that I was supposed to become a certified pastor, preach the gospel, save soul for his kingdom. I asked the Holy Spirit, say, can you see me no say, me are those type of woman, me love man. Me not hide at the party, so me say, Father, for me to settle down in a Zion, you have to do something for me. So Father God bless me with a husband. So I come back down to Via Clarendon where I found my husband, where God sent me my husband. And we get married. After get married, 28th of July, 2020, I called back the gentleman and said, "Clean up the place for me. Me and the children coming up for them to start back school because I know it's COVID and it's online stuff and such. So we don't have the equipment down here, so we have to come back up." The gentleman said, "No, me can't get back the place. Me married now, so my husband will find somewhere. Put me. Oh my God." It's like I split it in two. Me a ball for dead come away and dead can't come. I feel like to kill myself. I feel like to just find near Penbridge and jump off. I feel like all hope is lost. I feel like everything just done for me. Knowing that after spending all my last, the man will tell me so I can't get back the place. Few months later, I get to understand that that same gentleman was saving money to marry me. So true don't end up marrying me. He take back the place. I asked him, what about my money? He said he will give me back the money until today they don't get But I leave it all in the hands of God because I am a repentant. So anyway, my struggle and my struggle. We get a little room up our scheme, share an ice cream in Portland Cottage. Plus, I am paying light bill, internet bill. It was so rough for me. Me and the family don't help me. Family don't help. As a matter of fact, family members don't like me because I'm an outspoken person and I'm a woman of truth. I say the truth and it, them never like it. Me just tell them plain, you're wrong, you're wrong. So nobody know with me. So I heard about some houses of anonymous compound. So I run investigation and I get the links for the gentleman. So I talk to the gentleman the gentleman say extra, 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 extra and such, such, such. I've been calling the gentleman and been putting me out and putting me out. So till one day me call and said, Sir, me I go fix up the bus shed out a, a, a cottage cross and go in the car. Me can't pay rent no more. Me end up start pay twelve thousand dollars per month. Me say me can't pay rent no more. Me have seven pick me a go school and me a them mother, and me a them father. My husband only worth two thousand five a day. Not now go on. Sir, he owes them the money must have mashed down. And somebody imagine somebody want to also live. And you think it hard to give person the also live? He said, all right, go and check Mr. Francis. And I went to Mr. Francis and he drove me around the area and said, pick the one. And I chose this one that I live in. And they write me up and search and take information and gave me the key. When we get the house, no bottom, as you can see the ceiling, see where the place is a wreck. And me and my children, with the help of my sister, Pastor Brown Robinson, we fix up and we where we do, if we do, we do, we do, we do. So tell her reach to this. And we sleep, we move in now. Stop parent. Life not easy knowing all. I still have it rough. I still need help. But I give God thanks. So me dear, me throw one and two pan or something now. And so tell me get one money now. And me go pan the market in uh, face, on Facebook. So tell me see one little cheap car I sell. And I say, all right, this can't, cause you, you can't see the journey is so far to come around here. So I say, the journey for the children them to walk to school is very rough. And if we call a taxi man to come here, they have $1,000 that. So it would take me $2,000 every day for fear. I don't have it. So I get the little car, I buy the little car, and my son have a 
drive care the children them to school and pick them up box or tell. I well, don't know what happened, but um, we never straight, so we are run from police and <laughs> going at the bush and lick the transmission. So now the car park not driving. When I look back in the stars and see the story, uh, uh, my story and all people blushing me and criticize me and me nine pity them. And when I look on me pity them and make me proud, I said, oh man, I have to call the media and share my story back. So that's how I call the stars. I said I have a story and they contact me and they seem to be interested. Tell us about the success of your children so far. That's where, we, that's where I'm at now. My big son get kicked out of Opel High School because he was following friend and company. So his auntie take him from Opel and take him back down to Manchester. We finally go to school in Maypen in Godday and he do five subjects and he comes out in ones and two. So anyhow, him live in Saltiva, running a small business, you know, yet decide where he want. When I tell me, I say I go in the soldier force, then me I say police, then me I say fire brigade. Like him, he may be five subjects, you don't know if he do yet. During the COVID time, my second son, no, it was rough, and he says, do you see me have to try to get tablet and laptop for the children, them, and it's rough and such. He said, mommy, you know, say, he get a tablet, he get a laptop from the, from the high school bus stop. And he give the, the tablet to his he laptop to his sister. Me I go like try to look work and see if me can. At that time, he was 17. He was 17 years old at that time. He stopped from school just for me to send the rest of the children because he know me not have it with the online, it was so difficult. So now he's a strange security guard. Anyhow, me they are struggle, struggle the same way. I have my children and me know them. I grow my children. People can't tell you in this community. When they come to Portland Cottage, very kind, and they can't tell you about me and my kids them. I grow my children them. Good. Because I know where I'm coming from. I know my background. I don't want none of my children to follow my track. So I try, me try my best. Me discipline them. Me good manners. Respect. Those are what my children them have. Now, I have the children and I live with them, I know that they can read, you know. I know they're doing their schoolwork, but trust me, the 27th of June, 2023, my daughter surprised me. One of the nine that Jamaica people was criticizing me about surprised me at graduation day. I was like, I am speechless. When I hear my daughter name being calling up, calling up, calling up, I was like, Jesus, really? The surprise she surprised me now is when I heard her name called as the outstanding academic performance in chemistry, information technology, geography, Spanish, food, nutrition, and health, Caribbean history, um, I said information technology already and um, integrated science so she's a top student for seven subjects next I heard they call her name um, Sherman Award best academic performance 2023 a drum a reel a flick a scream because me said what? I mean, I wasn't looking for this. Nah, lie like you. Me never did that look. Me never know that somebody picking it right. Me say you see it. This is one of the nine that the stars comment them did that criticize me and nobody don't know the future lies between no one because the dreams that my children them have is very high. Her dream is to become the next female prime minister or a judge. Then this is principal award for the most rounded students. Yes, I know that my children they are very rounded before me, in front of me. They are nice, but me don't know their behavior when they go on the street. So for her to get an award like this, to show that, say, when she's on the street, she well behaves just as how she behaves at home. Taps female student 2023. Me say I do so me feel like me that heaven. Me say me feel big. We know that 
hundreds of people going to Bustamante High School and one of the nine come out as the top student. My story is to encourage single parents like me. Before, I'm talking before I get married. Single parents like me. I, I see on social media parents have two children, three children and a big help. Me have nine and I never, I never post out on social media asking for help until my house burn up. And you know me I go want help because as good as maybe me one couldn't do it. So you know me I go want help. Me now say you can't beg you know because as I said, me no beg on social media but me beg behind closed door and I know who to beg. People don't have good to say. The one them who don't go through the hardship that we single parents go through. So they not, they not understand the road where we have to, the path where we have to walk to go through. Because what I go through in life to feed my children. Come on. Out of the nine children, me mother and father eat at them. Only my big son alone get 100% father care. And, and and his side relatives take care of him. But me, mother and father, and nine, it is eight of them. I got you things, I got you life on that road. Sometimes, since I'm now become a Christian, sometimes my sister my the guys then when me mess around with forget money, me feel shame. Sometimes me, 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 when me meet one of me up in one day, me want to hide. And he said, no, hide. Me see a page on Facebook, you turn pastor. Me forgive you for what you do for me. And nobody perfect. And me understand that you was hustling for your children. I felt so bad. But what I could do, I couldn't do nothing because my children, them have to live. Them have to eat. Them have to drink. Them have to wear clothes. So me not have education. Me not have nothing. So me have to try to find a way to maintain my children. So to the single parents, them out there. Get up, find something meaningful, do with your life. Put God in the middle of your life and he will open doors for you. I mean, I go like say everything all right. Everything not all right for me because as I'm speaking to you right now, sometimes I only can feed. Sometimes my children I only can eat. But what? With Christ in the vessels, we can smile at the storm. Even if you're going on social media to beg, don't involve your children. Don't put the children in it.